Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Today is the 24th, where we're going to be talking about the number 23 and 24. Because the number 23 intensifies the number 5, which we already, you can go back and watch the video for number 5. Um, but we're going to talk about 23 and 24. And then also the number 24 intensifies the number 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. You guys get it by now, right? Love, love, love numbers. Yes. So when we talk about the number 23, like I said, it intensifies the number five. Think about 23 being the, the number of life. Number 23 means that you have a desire for freedom and you want to explore and enjoy life to the fullest. Remember when we talked about the number five and I said it being a, a pivotal point in your life? Yes. Right now, a lot of people are thinking, I want to live life to the fullest. Speaking of living life to the fullest, when you have your friends giving, not Thanksgiving, but when you have your friends giving that's coming up in what, two days, um, you're starting to think about who do you want to invite to your home? Who do you want in your space, right? Or if you're going to someone else's home, you want to make sure, listen, is this person, are we on the same frequency? Are we vibing? You know what I'm saying? Like you're not just going to have people in your space. No longer are you going to just have people in your space, especially not intentionally. We're not talking about your colleagues. We're talking about people who are on your same frequency, your tribe. You all are vibrating high. You're loving life. You all, you're drinking your water together. You're eating your 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 um your veggies and your fruit and stuff together you're not only detoxing your body but you're detoxing your spirit together those people your tribe your people you all on the same frequency right so yeah you're going to get together for your friends giving not thanksgiving you're getting together for your friends giving and life is just grand when you leave there there's no heaviness there's no you know, talking about childhood traumas, none of that thing. If you're talking about anything, it's more or less like I'm talking about how I healed and how I got over and now I'm here, you know, where I started right here and now I'm here, you know, ascended. And also 23 means that your strength lies in your intelligence, right? So you all are talking about different things. The conversation is not like it used to be when you were hanging out with low vibration spirits, right? Because you didn't know any better now that you know better, you're doing better, right, Aries? Also, number 23 says that you're ambitious, you're loyal, you're passionate, and you're courageous. So let's talk about the number 24, but right in, after we get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in all areas, specifically in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, also in areas of money and wealth, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for Aries, the bomb Aries? Yes, they don't know, send them to this channel. They got a problem with you? Send them to this channel. Tell them how awesome you really are, Aries. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Yep. When I tell you that you're no longer going to be dealing with spirits that cause you to look like this, yeah. Those people who were stressing you out, I'm telling you, you have the power to change it, Aries. You do not have to go to family functions or you know, so-called friends or whomever that's out of your frequency. You really don't have to stress out. Friendsgiving does not have to be like Thanksgiving in the past, right? This is you. See that bird saying, don't you want to be free? Yes, you have the power to be free. It's going to take an enormous amount of strength for a lot of people. Yes, but you have way too much to offer the rest of the universe. Look at this Empress card. You have way too much to offer the rest of us for you to even be stressed out over anything so again you're going to have to tap into the lion in you see that half lion half person yes you're going to have to tap into your strength and you're going to have to pull it out you're just going to just have to just say like listen i'm not going to allow certain spirits in my space even in the workplace there are some people that should just determine again and i've said this before to project a negative image onto you 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 Aries have the power to stop that. No more of this, right? No more of this. You should be feeling good about life like the Empress here, really feeling good about life, knowing that you have gifts to offer the world. And I'm telling you, you should be walking into a room spinning. You know, let me tell you, y'all know I like to share stories, right? <laughs> yes. 
Look, let me tell you something. When I used to get invited to family functions, not that I don't anymore, but you know what I'm saying. When I used to get invited to family functions, I wasn't showing up unless it was a DJ spinning music. You know what I'm saying? So when I, when I roll in there, it was like dancing from the time I got there to the time I left. Right, people trying to ask me questions on the dance floor. Hey, um, I mean, I've been meaning to call you, I've been meaning to talk to you about nope, <laughs> it didn't even matter what the question was. I'm sitting here trying to enjoy myself and my own vibration. Enjoy, we don't have time for conversations about other family members, we don't have time about have conversations about trying to borrow some money or can you babysit my kids? No, no, and no, yes. So, again, you create your own universe. You should be having fun, living life to the fullest. When you wake up in the morning, get your water, get your smoothie. Matter of fact, I had some Moringa powder in my smoothie this morning. Ooh, on fire. Having Life is great because that's the intention you set when you woke up today, right? Matter of fact, look. Look. In the workplace, it should be perfect synergy. When I look at this, perfect synergy. Because these people that stress you out, yeah, because some people listen, because all the cards, when I lay the cards out, even though I go through the cards and I share information with you all, maybe some little funny family stories and things like that, or some examples, the cards are actually telling a story, just so you know. So some of you all have been stressed out in the workplace by people who are just determined to project a certain image onto you. You need to slide on by those people. Like, nope, I don't have time to listen to it. I got to go. Nope, don't have time, right? So you don't have to be stressed out like this. You really, really don't. You need to start ignoring people. You need to start putting your energy where it belongs, back on you, nurturing yourself, tapping into your divine feminine energy. Right, Aries? Yes. We know that you're a giver. We know that you're a giver. But when you channel that attention and that energy onto something that, that pleases you, then you get so much more out of life. I'm telling you, take that energy away from people who are determined to project negativity onto you. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they say. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? You've been investing in yourself way too much. You don't even have time. You don't even have the energy to even give anybody who is, like I said, you've been investing in yourself. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. So listen, when I talk about these people right here, this is how you take your power back. This is how you get to freedom. This is how you start living your best life is just continue to ascend higher so that those people will fall out of range. We don't have anything to talk. There's nothing to talk about. No, we don't have anything to talk about. Y'all should be dancing into the office or if you're walk, working from home, you should be, you know, in, in between meetings, especially when a person is trying to stress you out, put on your favorite music, dance around the house. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you teleworking and you don't have to get dressed, maybe you have to get dressed from the, you know, waist up because you don't want to, you know, hair disheveled, looking a mess, <laughs> looking all crazy, like you just woke up, like you just fell out of the bed. But you know what I'm saying? While you are... While you are in the workplace, even if you if you have difficult, if you have a difficult manager or leader or whatever the case may be, in between meetings or whatever on your lunch break, turn on your favorite music. You know you're getting your you know you're getting your energy up. You're listening to your high vibration music, whatever that is, something that's going to get you pumped up. Your favorite song, whatever that's going to put you in a different mood, and just get rid of all that other stuff. The rest of the stuff is just junk. It really, really is. You create the world that you want. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Feeling vibrant and free again. This is you. Feeling vibrant again. No more time for people who are determined to project something onto you. You are action oriented. You have the gift of gab. You are ambitious. You are a risk taker. Yes. You are self-assured. You know, you're enthusiastic. You're all these wonderful things, okay? Get your fire back. Get those solar plexus chakras realigned. You know what to do, Aries. You know exactly what to do. A lot of you all are anticipating some change. I mean, that's what, that's what you should be doing. You should be in expectancy mode. You've been putting out good energy to the universe, and you should expect wonderful things to happen to you, happen for you and happen to you. 
And when they happen, they'll be like, oh my God, I'm so lucky. No, actually you created that yourself. It's all you. It's all you. There's some things when I tell you that some people should be leaving their jobs and out here just doing it. You have way too many gifts to offer the world. You may be disappointed by the spirits around you who won't ascend. But again, this is about you deciding, I'm going to choose peace over chaos and confusion. Yes. Whether you're leaving your job or whether you're leaving friendships, past friendships or past relationships behind. It may be disappointing when people can't go where you're going, but that's okay. Believe it or not, look at it this way. Believe it or not, you're actually helping them to ascend because they're going to look at you and say, wow, Aries decided to leave this dysfunctional and chaotic situation, not just in the workplace, because some people know your jobs are fine. So again, I'm, I'm not telling people to leave their job. If your job is fine, hey, great. But, um, but there are some relationships, whether they're family relationships, love relationships or whatever, where that's just keeping you stressed out. You need to leave that behind, even though you're disappointed and move towards your peace, creating your peace in the life that you want, right? Freedom, peace and serenity and calm. No more drama. As long as you stay in a relationship that is chaotic and confusion and dysfunctional and toxic, this all you're doing is sabotaging yourself because nobody's forcing you. Nobody's holding a gun to your head saying you better stay in this relationship. No. When you leave that relationship and you're free, look at those birds representing freedom. That's who you used to be. This is who you are now looking at yourself like, wow, life really could be like this. Yes, absolutely. It could be like this. It's like that right now because that's the choice you made. Yes. You're sleeping better. You're resting. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Feeling great about life. Getting that good sleep in that fetal position. Look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loving it. Look at you. Uh-huh. You're the king of cups. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're wise. You believe in mindfulness. You're stable. You know how to keep your head up in a crisis. Yeah. So certainly there are some relationships you all st are still needing to trim the fat. There's still some people in your life that's not that's really hindering you, that's in your space, that's hindering you, for you from living your best life. I'm telling you, you never have to go from zero to a thousand again, Aries. Never. You never, ever, ever have to go from zero to a thousand again because you all are too fantastic of people, too fabulous of people to even allow, just, you know, let people provoke you from going from zero to a thousand. So we talked about the number 24, right? So the number 24... Um, which intensifies the number six, two plus four is six. It just means that, you know, once you realize how you can serve others with passion and joy, you can easily attract abundance and nurturing relationships. I'm telling you, get into what is that thing that you've always wanted to do that, that, that you're passionate about? Something that when you wake up in the morning, you just can't wait to do it. That thing, right? Because that's how you attract abundance. It's not about going after the money. You're ch if you're chasing the money, that's the wrong thing. It is about going after the thing that you love to do the most. The money is going to come. Trust and believe that is going to come. It is about chasing after that thing that you love doing. That thing that wakes you up in the morning and you're so excited and passionate about it, like you all are. You all are very passionate people. This is about, but see, what happens is people try to make it seem like, I got you, Aries. Don't even worry about it because I know who I'm talking about. People try to make it seem like you all are not passionate, but that you all are, um, you can't control your temper, that you're upset, you're angry, you're this, that, and the other. When it really, really is passion. But when you're around the wrong people, that passion can look like um, impulsive behavior. It can look like lack of patience. It can look like outbursts of anger, right? That's why you got to remove certain people from your space that triggers that behavior. And what better time that they do it during the holidays? They want to bring up all kinds of stuff. It's like, nope, you know what? I'm not even going to be there. I'm too busy enjoying my peace. My, <sighs> this is you on Friendsgiving. Some people call it Thanksgiving. But yes, this is you protecting your peace at all costs. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. See, let me tell you something. You see this? This is a swords card. One of the swords cards. This is a five of swords. 
some of y'all need to take a sword and cut some relationships off because for real, for real, you know, I had to pop my, yeah, pop my tongue. For real, for real, listen, we know that you have strong leadership. We know that you have amazing self-confidence. We know that you are positive energy, that you are brave and creative. Everybody around you knows that that is what people are attracted to. I need you to understand what I'm saying, Aries. People know that you are determined. They know that you're confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, and passionate, right? Don't y'all let these people bring the worst out of y'all, okay? When y'all go somewhere, y'all need to... I'm telling you, bring all this good energy. The moment somebody steps to you with some, some low vibrating energy, you either exit stage left or just move on around them and just, you know, y'all know what to do, okay? That's what I have for you. Have a fantastic day. I hope that you all have. I'm going to put up some more videos very, very soon, but I hope that you all have a fantastic Friendsgiving, okay? That's what I hope for you all. Bye.